Hello, my name is Fran Sands. Welcome to myboxingcoach.com. Um, short video for you today. Um, the five mistakes that you need to avoid as a beginner. Now, this is not about technical stuff, right? That can be addressed. This is about mindset. This is all about giving you the bigger picture, the kind of frame of mind, those big mistakes that you have to avoid when you're starting out on your boxing journey. And it doesn't matter whether you're gonna be a competitor or whether you're doing this for fitness. Get these mindset, avoid these mindset mistakes and you will, be, uh, you will make your journey much more quickly and much more effectively. Before we get started, join the thousands of others who've downloaded their book, The Beginner Boxer Toolkit. 64 pages packed full of information to help you on your boxing journey, from mindset to training regimes, core skills, five ways to use the heavy bag, building your power, building your speed. There's a ton of stuff in there. Go download it. There's a link down below and I will put a link at the end. Okay, let's get on to these five mistakes to avoid. Mistake number one, trying to run before you've learned to walk. Um, look, I basically have this, this view that sort of 90% of what the top performers in any sport or in any discipline, 90% of what the top performers do are the basics. They just do them very well. So learn the basics well. Seems obvious, but uh, too many people, um, and I've seen it a lot, I've, I've, I've had kids sort of this big come in the boxing club to me and, and walk in and say, oh, I've been training in the garden and I'm, uh, I'm peekaboo. That's my style, that's me. And I'm like, okay. All right, well, let's, you know, take you through it and let's work out how we actually go from here. Um, and you re-engineer and you get them forming the basics of a solid style. Likewise, I've had people from, who've come in from white collar who've, who've had a few bouts and they actually think that some white collar events sort of prepare them for full on proper technical development in a sport like boxing. And it doesn't really, I think you have to break things down again and, and start from fresh. So all I'd say, look, it's much more important for you to be able to move forwards and backwards whilst maintaining the offset of your feet and not having the rear foot come behind the lead foot. It's much more important you being able to do that than, for example, being able to look a bit like Canelo when he's hitting a heavy bag. It's much more important for you to go throw a good, clean jab where you, you fire it out, you accelerate, the elbow doesn't flare, it goes straight out, it comes straight back. It's much more important for you to get that right than to look like Floyd Mayweather on the pads. You know the way they do all of that? All that pad stuff, you know how it is, pat a cake, pat a cake. It's much more important for you to build three good defences to a jab coming your way. A block, a slip and a double block. It's much more important for you to build them well than to learn how to do like, you know, shoe shine. Okay, so do the basics and do the basics well. Um, yeah, don't, don't be too eager to jump in the ring and spar too soon either, right? Build up some skills because if you spar too soon, if you start throwing punches with your mates or in the backyard or whatever, once, once someone's throwing punches at you, Unless you've built some kind of technical framework, all it just all goes to pot. And you don't have anything like a boxing style. So, mistake number one, people trying to run before they can even walk. Avoid it. Um, mistake number two, people thinking that they'll get all of their fitness in the gym. Wrong. You won't. You need to have a rounded um, fitness and a good level of endurance. And the only thing that gives you that is good, solid, I don't like using the word cardio, it's down to running or good walking. If you're older and you're doing this for fitness and you know your knees are a bit, a bit off, then get out and do good, fast walks a couple of times a week. You know, if you're actually training to do a bit of competition, running is absolutely vital. You cannot, nothing can you know, substitute for running, maybe really long bike rides. I don't know, I've never done the, never done the science on any of that. What I do know is that running works. 
a good running program and it doesn't have to be complicated two nights a week go out run a few miles build in some sprints from street lamp to street lamp and um, build in some hill running just get some running done you cannot fill, build fighters fitness in the gym alone mistake number three this is tied to number one people like to pigeonhole themselves you know i'm i'm tall so i need to dance away and keep everything at long range um or uh i'm gonna be like tyson i'm kind of built like him so here i'm gonna use his style pigeonholing themselves right from the outset of course if you've got particular physical attributes if you're tall of course you're gonna have more of an advantage at long range but do you think that you should just do that what happens when things go to close range which they are sure to do you need to be versatile don't put yourself in a, in a in a box and say that's my boxing style that's all i'm going to learn be versatile learn 10 different uh, 10 different styles you know um, it, it ties into number one once you've built all of those basics those fighters i mentioned in on mistake number one canelo and and floyd mayweather or, or tyson or whoever it may be of course be inspired by them you know of course once you've built the basics try to emulate some of the stuff they do try it out build different styles but you have to build the basics first and you know once you are, you have those basics don't just sort of focus on one type of style try and be versatile mistake number four people have a lack of patience uh, news flash you have no right to master this stuff overnight doesn't happen there are no shortcuts there is a direct path right you can take a direct path by doing the right drills and being consistent and showing up and doing the work um, but you must be consistent you must show up you must do the work work the right drills it comes in time um, patience you must have some patience with yourself don't be too harsh on yourself because you're not picking this stuff up i often say to the kids in the boxing club if it was easy, I could go and stand outside the pub at closing time and get some of them fellas to, 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 to line up and, uh, and get in the boxing stance and show us a bit. It's not easy. It takes time. It takes effort. It takes patience. And mistake number five, having a closed mind. Look, this is a good lesson in life. Always be growing. Always be learning. Always be trying new stuff. It's really, really important. Think outside boxing, what do swimmers do? What do football players do? What do rugby players, what do basketball players do? What do golfers do? You know, just think outside the sport, look at other sports, learn, read more books, just become a more rounded person. It helps you be more resilient. It helps you um, get through. I, it was Lennox Lewis, he loved chess. He played lots and lots of chess. I love hearing stuff like that where the, you know, Mike Tyson loved his pigeons. You know, learn about other stuff, grow, and once you're in that gym, always be open-minded. The great Eddie Futch, one of the finest boxing trainers of all time, he said, uh, the day I'll stop learning is the day that I die. And this is a man who'd spent a lifetime in the sport, multiple world champions, always looking to grow, learn, and get better at what he did. So there's my five mindset mistakes. If you're interested in how I deal with new boxers of there's a the link of the video at the end uh, what i've done is condensed sort of my th first 30 minutes with a with a boxer or a group of boxers and condense it into a 10 minute and that gives you a, f a feel for how i get a young person into the boxing club and sort of get them on their journey start them on the right road for their journey um it's worth it's worth a watch if, you, if you're interested in what i've said here Otherwise, go and download your book, The Beginner Boxer Toolkit. Uh, the video link should be here and the book link should be here. Um, or there's a link down below. Hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, look after yourself and I'll see you next time.